<laughs> you can sit here. I think yesterday you also sit here. Okay. Hello, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Christina. This is uh, Tilman Silva and Mila, and we are film students from Munich. Uh -huh. And if you choose a color for the mood and shower of Far From Men, which color will you choose and why? Mm, I really think the point of the movie is that it doesn't matter. The color or the genre or the mood? I think it doesn't matter. I think all colors are welcome. Well, if you had to choose a color for the mood of your movie, uh, could you choose one? And if you could, which color would it be? Uh, well, in French it's ochre, because uh, the, the, the skin and the people uh, are quite the same color from the, the landscape. And uh, it's uh, more difficult to see them in the, in the landscape. It's, it's a way to lose them in the, in the nature. Il a fait quoi Il a tué un homme. Tu dois le livrer à Tingit. Si c'est si tu as mal de Sous les ordres. Je le ferai pas. And what color would you give Daru? I wouldn't. You would not? Why? I wouldn't limit him. No, uh, I think uh, Daru has no color. <laughs> he has no real identity. It's uh, his problem. Uh, and it's for him very difficult to choose. So he's not able to choose a color and he not, he, he's not able to choose an identity. So he would have no color, I think. For the past 10 years, he's been living isolated in the middle of the mountains, completely by himself. He felt he was trying to escape conflict and, and uh, war and disagreement and unpleasantness. And he wanted to live a life in which he was not hurting anyone, in which he was doing good. Um, so he's far from men in a, in a general sense, but what he, part of what he learns in the story is that he's also been avoiding life mm -hmm. on some level, interacting with people, women. The problem of these two men, it's that they are living without, without women. Uh, Daru, because he, he lost his woman 10 years uh, before, and it's, it, he's a broken man. He's half dead. And she... Frank! Ow! He realizes that uh, he has to, he has to, to come back to life and to love and uh, to desire. He teaches Muhammad and Muhammad teaches him. A similar lesson, which is say yes to life, you know. How deep did your own character and personality of yourself influence the role of Daru? Mm -hmm. Well, I think always something <clears throat> spills over because it's after all me and my voice and my body. But uh, I was thinking almost all the time about Albert Camus, and I think the director was thinking about that a lot as well, because we spoke about the writer of the short story mm -hmm. that the movie's based on, a lot. I read this short story by chance. I was not looking for anything, uh, and I was moved, really, by, by this text. Afterwards, I understand uh, why, I understood why. Uh, my father, for instance, has been a, a teacher for two years during the war of Algeria, so perhaps there is some kind of connection. <laughs> Uh, and he didn't want to talk with me about what he, he did there, what he uh, experienced there. It was a way for him to, to, uh, to, to do his uh, military service in a pacific way. 
So it choose to be a, a, a teacher, not to be a soldier. Jetez vos armes! Avancez vers nous! Main sur la tête! Have you been with your father to Algeria sometime? Or after the movie, maybe? No, uh, no, no. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he never came back to Algeria. He was very. He was a, a, a member of the Communist Party. In that, at that time, it was very close uh, to the FLN. Uh, I think it has been very disappointed by what be became the Algerian Revolution uh, after the war. He didn't want to speak much about it because uh, it, it, it was a big uh, disillusion and big uh, de deception for him. Uh, so I think this film was a, a way uh, to, to talk with my father because after the, the, the film, finally, we, we talked about this, this period. You had killed people who were dead. It's a crime of war. The phares are probably in the party, but they're alive! In your opinion, what role does uh, do nationality and identity play in the, in the film? I think that uh, by the end, the film minimizes those things, which I think is healthy. Well, I think really it's a, it's a film about that, about identity. Uh, the problem of Daru is that uh, at the beginning of the film, he thinks that he's Algerian because he was born here. And uh, thanks to Mohammed, thanks to the, the journey they have together, uh, he realizes that He's not Algerian. And the, the sentence he says at the end of the film, uh, for the French, we were Arabs, and now for the Arabs, we are French. It's a sentence that uh, could be uh, said by a lot of people right now in France in, in the other way. Identity, it's a, a big issue, <laughs> uh, a modern issue. Uh, it's uh, more and more you will have to choose and to understand your identity.